How's it going? It's APOC. A while ago I made an Infinity Ward disintegration lens that had a lot of hype around it on Reddit. Got a lot of views and a lot of people asking me how I made it. So I've decided to release a video going through the lens showing how it's made. And yeah, let's just start at the top of the objects list here. So the first thing here is a head binding for sprites. So it has two sprites attached to the face. That's how it knows where to cut you out by using these two things. This background one's not really a uh, complete background, but it sort of just covers the entire screen. And then this one has a black background and the white human shape in the middle, which is actually attached to your face. So that's how it, the lens knows where to cut you out at. And the background one is just to make sure everything behind it's black. So if you're like your head tilted too much, it's not going to show the saved background. It's kind of hard to explain. If you just use the opacity textures, I'll put a link in the description to a really good tutorial I found after I made this when I was looking for like um, just a better way to use it, I guess, or someone who explained it better. I did find one and I'll put a link to it in the description. So yeah, that's how it basically knows where to cut you out because this shape is tracked onto you. And I can show you what that looks like right here. So it's really wide here because like your shoulders are really wide compared to your head. It also is kind of stretched weird in the sprite I actually just modified it. So yeah, that's basically your head right there. <laughs> Looks kind of funny from there. All right, so let's come down to the sprites. I did not label anything and it makes it really hard for me to follow this, but uh, essentially this is the device camera texture. So it's just like, I believe all three of these are device camera textures, yes. So this one is uh, the front device camera texture. So it's uh, the one you're seeing right now. I believe this one turns into the saved background. Then here we have two that are using the ice camera texture and the opacity texture as the camera output. So this is outputting that white and black background. Um, and these are being cut out. So these are like the ones with your face inside of them. It's I really don't know how to explain this. Um, so these two are just camera textures in the shape of that white uh, human shape. This one is the device camera texture, but it becomes the saved still background behind you when you get cut out. So I'll save this cut out here. So it's hard to see because this guy's not moving too much, but behind him you can see there's a saved background. That is Sprite 5. The front one is 3 and 2. Um, this one is actually stretched out really wide and that's how I'm getting the collar for the so I can show you it actually if we just fade in you can see it's stretched out that's how I'm getting the collar for the particles I'm just using this as the collar so it sort of like fades in like that while the particles are happening it gives them some color so that's what those two do these two are just the intro pieces so made by with the help of in the instructions Nothing too special there. You just tap when you tap one time, they get hidden. Now we have the tween manager here. These tweens um, are fading the sprites. So these two sprites that are cut out of you, they're just fading away and also resizing some stuff to make sure it's like covering where I want to cover and everything like that. So the uh, the cutout of you actually gets a little bit bigger as it fades out. It just looks better that way. So it's nothing too important in the tween manager, really. So yeah, that's really it. And when you do the tap to fade away, the reason it's fading away is because it switches to this GIF right here. So these two, this is the texture tracking you. As soon as you tap the second time, it turns into this GIF, which is just a person fading away. So that's how it knows. And then the color overlays like that, and that's how it gets the color from this one. I can show you the script. It's actually a very simple script. So it's just starting tweens, uh, 
displaying things on certain tabs. Hide intro here is just another script that hides the intro on the first tab. So yeah, it's really nothing too special. Tweens, I don't really have to show you the scripts for those because you just use the tween. Um, yeah, nothing too special. I hope this was informative. And uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you want any Lens Studio tutorials, uh, any help with Lens Studio, reach out to me and comment below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.